It's over! Oh, healing power! <laughs> Oh, healing power! First aid! It's over! I can't this look good. Oh, healing power! First aid! Oh, healing power! First aid! you are you hurt I'm fine thanks for worrying about me but where are we someone's coming I will conceal myself excuse me do you mind if we ask you a question what is it he's not human he's not a half-elf either what is he? And he's even got a monster with him. Really weird. Um, we seem to have gotten lost. Could you tell us where we are? You're just north of Asalia. Do you want me to take you to the village? No, that's all right. Thank you very much. Sure. Well then, take care. So, that would mean... Across the ocean? That would appear to be the case. Well, at least we saved on the boat fare. Indeed. And we gained some valuable experience no amount of money could buy. You two sure are optimistic. Just we've already come this far. Might as well make the best of it. Yeah, you're right. Now that we've had a chance to recover our senses, shall we continue on to Isalia? Yeah. yeah. This is Lloyd's hometown. Did you just say Lloyd? Yes, and you are? I'm Paul, Lloyd's number one apprentice. 
I'm heading out to patrol the haunted ranch. You want to come with me? Lloyd's apprentice? What kind of idiot? What did you say? Emil, he's just a kid. I'm not a kid. I'm the great dual swordsman, Paul the Magnificent. <laughs> My apologies, Paul the Magnificent. Jeez, you outsiders have no manners. I can't believe kids still worship Lloyd even after what he and the Church of Martell did to Palma Costa. I know you're upset, but try to calm down. The first thing we need to do is gather information. Maybe the town's mayor has an idea where Lloyd is. I don't know. It's almost too quiet, and the air feels charged. This is the village of Oracles, home of the Mana lineage. The souls of the Chosen who perished in failed attempts at world regeneration may still haunt these grounds. Yeah, that must be it. It's just the sort of village I'd expect Lloyd to come from. Shut up, Tenebrae.
Hearing the word Desion. What does it mean? You don't know? The Desions were a group of half elves who wreaked havoc on the world before the regeneration took place.
They say the designs took people to places called human ranches and then did unspeakable things to them. You make it sound like you weren't affected by them. There was a ranch right near Palma Costa and everyone was so afraid of it. We were? Yes. Iselia got off easy since The Chosen was born here. They entered into a non-aggression treaty with the Designs to protect the town's people from being taken to the ranch. Clever, huh? It seems we Centurions missed a lot while we were dormant. Yeah, that's how it was. Yeah, of course. So I finally understand who the Designs were. But why did you sound disapproving of Isalia's non-aggression treaty with them? What did the treaty mean anyway? It was an agreement that the Designs won't attack the village. Isalia was the only place to make such a deal. It wasn't fair. All the other towns were pillaged by the Designs over and over again. So how was Isalia able to make a treaty with them? Beats me. Whatever they did, they're lucky. They got off a lot easier than everyone else. What's the matter, Tenebrae? I'm not sure how to put this. What is it? It's just the monsters you befriended haven't been growing... How should I put it? As monsters, they're still immature. When I see you playing together with them, I'm reminded of a... of a... A daycare center? Exactly! exactly. Excuse me, we're searching for Lloyd Irving. He used to live in this town. Have you seen him recently? <sighs> Another one asking about Lloyd. Let me guess, this is about the blood purge in Palma Costa, right? And does it make sense? Lloyd would never lead the Church of Martel against Palma Costa. Lloyd killed my parents! Emil? Before the world regeneration, a horrible massacre took place in our town at the hands of the Designs because of Lloyd. See? Just like Palma Costa, Lloyd is nothing but a worthless murderer! But, but I thought Iselia had a treaty with the Designs. Lloyd tried to save a friend of his who was being held prisoner at the human ranch. It provoked the Designs into attacking. What a fool! 
Even a child knows that the life of one insignificant person in the ranch is nothing compared to the lives of everyone in the village. One insignificant person? What a horrible thing to say! Then which would you choose? Save one person with a thousand lives? Or save a thousand with one life? Well... It's obvious. The one person must be sacrificed for. <sighs> Wait! That's not right! What if you were that one person? Would you still feel that way? And what if there was some way you could save all thousand and one people? Yes. Lloyd thought that way as well. But ultimately, he failed. Lofty principles are all well and good, but there's a difference between an ideal and reality. <laughs> Lloyd is a fool. He believes all lives are equal. He imagines an ideal world where those who want to live can live. But he's also a man who works tirelessly to realize his ideals. Of course, whether that's good or bad is a different story. Mayor, you believe in Lloyd. Well, I don't like him much, but yes. Why does everyone stand up for him? I know for a fact that he killed my mother. Ask the people in town. His old teacher is back here right now as well. And Lloyd's father is at the Martell Temple. Perhaps he could shed some light on things. It's possible he's been in contact with Lloyd. The temple? It's located north of here and belongs to the Church of Martell. Lloyd's father is a skilled craftsman. He's been doing repair work there. I wonder what Lloyd's father is like. He contributed one half of Lloyd's genetic makeup, so I imagine they share similar physical characteristics. Well, duh! Emile's wondering what sort of person was the man who raised Lloyd. Yeah, and I'll bet he has spiky hair and a face just like an older version of Lloyd. Um... Marta, is that flower in your hair real? Why do you ask? Um, well, I was just thinking. It never seems to wilt. Exactly! They're just accessories. Actually, they belong to my mother. She wore them in her hair on her first date with my father. Oh, I see. These little flowers brought my mother and father together. And now they've brought us together, too. There she goes again. It's the pet monster that belongs to that strange guy we ran into at the beach. That is rather rude, Emil. That man was a dwarf. And this guy isn't a monster, he's a dog. You think you can move for us, doggy? I don't think he's a dog. Leave this to me. <laughs> Tenebrae's laughing. Oh, he moved. Hey, Tenebrae, what was so funny? Uh, perhaps some other time. Now then, let us proceed. <laughs> He's still laughing. It's weirding me out. Oh, you're the kids that were lost. Thanks for giving us directions. Um, we heard we might be able to find Lloyd Irving's father here. You're talking to him. We're not linked by blood, but he's my son. Have you heard anything from Lloyd recently? We're looking for him. You, aren't you ashamed of what Lloyd did in Palma Costa? You're his father. I'm proud to call Lloyd my son. 
I've got nothing to be ashamed of. You! If Lloyd had anything to do with what happened in Palma Costa, he wouldn't have just disappeared like that. I didn't raise a man who runs from his own responsibilities. My boy may be a fool, but he's not a bad person. So have you had any contact with him? No, haven't heard a word. He was on a journey to gather x -mares, but then he just suddenly came back about six months ago. He said he was on his way to save a friend, and he had to travel light. So he left Noish, that animal you saw outside. Haven't seen him since. I see. If you kids happen to see Lloyd, give him a message for me, will ya? Tell him Noish is getting lonely, so come home soon. Tenebrae, what were you and Noish talking about? Oh, just a humorous anecdote. <laughs> Last week, when Noish was drinking down by the riverbed, the most unbelievable thing came drifting down the river. <laughs> well, what was it? That's just it. You wouldn't believe me if I told you. <laughs> oh, I can't. <laughs> oh, oh, it almost hurts. What is it? Hurry up and tell us. <laughs> well, you see, it was a... Oh, oh, no. No, it was nothing, really. <laughs> tell us! He's not related to Lloyd by blood, and yet he really seems like he's Lloyd's father. On the other hand, my uncle was always so ashamed of everything I did. Emil. Excuse me, do you have a moment? Paul, one of the village children, has gone missing. Have you seen a boy about eight years old around here? Oh, we met him by the town entrance. He said something about going to a haunted ranch. So he went to the human ranch. Thank you. The haunted ranch he was talking about was a Designs human ranch. I hope he's all right. There aren't any Designs there anymore. I'm sure he'll be fine. Besides, he's an apprentice of the Mighty Lloyd, remember? I understand your grudge against Lloyd, but Paul has nothing to do with that. The Emil I like wouldn't think like that. My Emil is better than that. Whatever! 